I have good news and I have bad news. So I start off with the good news. The good news is that we will be skipping the peaks and the ASR installation. Bad news is that the one of the bolts on the driver side, on the rear side, that bolt is basically spoiled. And now what I have to do is I'll basically have to like weld on a socket to that bolt to remove the bolt. Or I have to grind it off or stuff like that. Like we literally have been struggling like four hours trying to get that bolt off and in that four hours we basically stripped it even more new. Put all the bolts back at the rear end of the car. Now we're moving to the front end of the car. We're gonna basically just fit the spotlights one time. Um, would have done that tomorrow or I still would have done it. But it would have been nice seeing that ASR bar at the back with the peaks below it. But now we're gonna move on to the spotlights. So, some of you guys a lot of minutes. <laughs> A lot of minutes and a lot of data by not seeing how we're installing the ASR or the peaks bar, but that soon will be installed definitely. So I'm gonna try to figure out a way to remove that bolt at the back. So as soon as we can remove that one bolt, then everything will go on smoothly from there. So I didn't want to spoil the low control arms at the rear end as well, because then I would have grinded it off one time. But if I have the other low control arms, I'm one time gonna do the entire thing. And then I'm gonna figure a way out to remove that one bolt. So Jody's taking up the car at the moment just to um, lift it up a little bit so we can get the bumper off. Then we need to um, loosen all the bolts that's keeping basically the bumper in place. After that the bumper will be removed and we will start laying the harness. And as well as start cutting off what's needed to be cut off from the bumper to fit the, the spotlights into the bumper. We're gonna basically lay the harness or basically known as the loom or whatever. Connect it, um, to get itself earth, connect it to the... The battery as well. Me and Jody are busy inspecting um, the entire harness right now. So this basically is basically the wire that we'll be needing to go into the chassis of the car. It's inside of the car. And um, because this is basically where the second part of the loom will basically be connected. So I'm guessing that um, the red is most probably the constant power. Um, this one is most probably just like a remote kind of like switch. And this one is most probably just the ground wire because it has the terminal on and it needs to be grounded. So that's basically what I think that is. And then the rest of it is basically um, fairly, fairly easy. So this might be just a quick install. Just might take, um, it's an easy install. Just might take some time. But I'm sure we'll be able to pull it off in less than one hour. I mean, it's just probably the video taking will make it probably a little bit longer. But I'm sure we'll be able to pull it off in this time so it's just basically the cutting out and the mounting of the brackets into the bumper and then after that we can start moving on to the loom so i think um we can probably just leave the loom for last and start by installing the lights into the bumper because i think that's probably the most difficult part here we have both lights brand new and look at that quality though i mean like it's freaking freaking shiny it's nice and yeah, it's like a nice crystal effect. Now all my lights in the car will basically be brand new, especially with um, going with the headlights and those lights right there. So we're gonna start out with the cutting part. So I'm just gonna show you guys. So this is basically the entire piece that needs to be cut out from here all the way down here. But it will basically be having a finishing like that. So that entire piece here, right here. Needs to um needs to get cut out, and um me and Jody's gonna start off right away with that. done this far is that um, the piece that actually came here I actually just took one of these blades and I basically cut it off I used the grinder to make it um, fairly easy for myself and then I tried to get it as best as possible as smooth as possible because even though the spotlights um, will be in here I would like to know in the back side of my mind that it actually looks neat even though the spotlights are still there covering up whatever's behind the spotlights and um, I'm just one of those guys that would like everything neat and if someone like basically would inspect the car, the job is done neat because I mean like this is my own car, this is reflect. This basically reflects on the person who I am. So just so this busy um finishing off that side. So as soon as he's done it, he's done that side, we're gonna start mounting the brackets for the spotlights. 
and we will start straight away installing the spotlights. So when the spotlights are installed, or the fog lights are installed into the bumper, it's mounted, everything like that, they are going to start laying the harness right through the entire car, connect, um, and connect it onto the battery, connect it onto um, the body of the car for earth, and then we will start with the second harness that will be basically fitted inside the car for ground, remote and power as well. We just fitted the spotlights, the brackets are on, um, all the screws are tightened up, you guys can see um, it's nice and stiff. And the all finishing on the bump is actually, it really looks nice though. Um, it's not as flush as I wanted it to be, but it still sits very very nice in each side. It's not like an aftermarket um, fog light that actually sits really crap, it actually sits really nice like there are holes and like cuts there where it's basically slide in and that makes the process so so much easier and that made it easier for us as well so basically while we were fitting the fog, the fog lights we were watching the video on youtube to check if we are doing it correctly i will put that video in the description below how to fit these fog lights step by step um, my video is not about the step by step process it's about showing you guys how to install it just like semi semi step by step it makes sense like that so we're done with the bumper right now and we're moving on to the engine bay so i'm going to start laying out the harness all the way to the front laying both clips in front basically connecting the power wire to the battery get the crown wire somewhere along the way and then i will start laying the harness through to the driver's side seat the switch right there in the console then i'll be putting in the switch i'll be laying the secondary harness inside the car as well i'll be earthing it i'll putting it on the, on the remote and i will be putting um the power wire on as well then after that we'll basically be testing if it actually works so let's start laying the harness firewall into or basically that connects to the secondary harness that harness is the the constant power so the wire that came through the firewall that's the constant power that connects into the secondary harness then we have two other wires left we have the remote wire and we have the ground wire so obviously you need to ground the ground wire then we have the remote wire basically known as the on and off switch wire um, all those wires lead to one basically clip that clips into the switch of the fog lights so the remote wire we will have to connect onto the ignition wire. So if you check on here, I'll basically just search for power. And that's the constant power to the ignition. There we see that wire doesn't have any power. Nor does that other wire right there. So if I switch on the ignition, which we have right there, so I can check, okay, that's still the constant power. And that one right there, that is basically the ignition, the ignition power wire. So I will, will be connecting the remote wire of the harness to this wire soon. The fog lights will never, go, will never go on if the ignition isn't turned on. So when I turn the ignition off, the fog lights will basically go off. If I turn the ignition on, it will send on power through to the switch. And then basically if I press the switch, then the fog lights will basically, basically, will basically go on. Yeah, me and Jody are very, very, very near the deadline for this car because I'm done with the harness inside of the car. So I connected up everything, how I explained you guys how to connect it up and then Jody just played the loom, the two clips or basically clips that clips into the two fogs are basically hanging out at the bottom you guys can see right there and then you just connect um, the power wire up to the battery cap and Jody really connected up the, um, the power wire, yeah. everything is connected up, all we need to do is basically just connect up the switch inside of the car 
and um, but he totally just needs to connect up the fog lights to go on. So we'll just double check right now. A few moments later, they can see you guys can see. You guys can see clearer now. Damn. Unfortunately, the spotlights or the fog lights, they aren't LEDs. So I'll most probably have to buy an aftermarket LED preset for my spotlights. But for now, I mean, like, I'm totally happy with the outcome this far on the car. It looks amazing like this. And I actually like the vision of the LED park lights and the normal fog lights. So I'll be rolling like this for quite some time because I'm broke as hell. <laughs> so I literally have to roll like this. And after most probably like a couple of weeks, I will most probably invest in a set of crease for the fog lights. But now I'll just reverse the car a little bit back so we can just see the car from the front end. Actually there's no need to go to the garage because you guys can see the results actually right here perfect and clear. There's no need to go to the garage to actually go check out um, how it actually looks. I'll probably give you guys a um, review on how the lights shine on the road um, on a future video. But to be honest, it actually looks really amazing. It's just like a few adjustments on how the lights actually look. But, like, look it. actually looks amazing. I actually like it. It's just I need to upgrade to a yeah, decrease it for the fog lights now. But it would be perfectly fine for this, for the time being. This is how the car looks with the park lights on as well. So it actually looks, yo, it looks nice though. I will be rolling like this each night. Won't even be driving with my headlights. And then even inside of the car, it's a factory fitted switch, which is given with the harness and the full out, full out kit. So it gives a nice factory off finishing inside of your ride so you don't have any unnecessary switches there's already a hole for you just unclip like one of the old brackets in there and you just fit that switch straight away so this will be the end of the video for today or tonight unfortunately i have to cut the video short because i have to go study at home because i'm writing tomorrow so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope this video was helpful i hope you guys installed the insulation it was just a bummer that we couldn't install the asr and the beats bar but hopefully in the future i'll be able to sort out that one spoiled bolt at the back if that bolt is removed i'll one time just do nice chrome bolts because that's just the way we do it we do it two times better yet later customs i hope you guys enjoyed the video please guys if you aren't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe right now um, Please to like this video, please to comment below what you guys like me to do next to my car. I hope you guys enjoyed the installation. I hope you guys don't think I was overdoing it by installing this fog lights into the car or basically in the car. And I hope you guys don't think I will, will be overdoing it by installing the ASR bar as well as the peak bar. Just note, I still have to buy the rear lower control arm as well. And a camber kit in front, so that's most probably next on the list. If it doesn't break anything mechanically on the car but hopefully everything will still be able to go really really fine and well i just hope this light space will last in the car but i will still do a kri upgrade so thanks guys hope you guys enjoyed the video please stay tuned for the next video and i hope you guys enjoy it.